Have you ever imagined mixing powdered pigment and used motor oil and turning it into something completely different than you imagined? Today I'll show you step by step how to do it at home quickly and easily. The first step is to take a clean container and carefully add 100 milliliters of used engine oil. Now it's time to add the second ingredient, powdered pigment. Here I'll use red, but you can choose any color that matches the finish you desire. Set aside about 15 grams, enough to give an intense color. Add the pigment to the container with the oil and stir gently with a wooden stick or any other object you have at home. Stir well and patiently until all the powder is dissolved and the solution is smooth and shiny. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from. Write your city and country. It's fascinating to see how far this content reaches, discover who's part of this community, and it inspires me to produce videos tailored to you, wherever you are in the world. Once the color is fully incorporated, add the third ingredient. This one is optional, but it makes all the difference. Add approximately five milliliters of liquid termite killer. Mix again until everything is well combined. The smell will change slightly, but this is normal. You might be wondering what this mixture is for, so I'll show you now, and I'm sure you'll thank me for learning this powerful tip. Or if you prefer, pour the entire mixture into a paint tray. This step makes application easier, allowing the roller or brush to absorb the ideal amount of paint and ensuring even and efficient coverage across the entire surface. Now is the time to reveal. Here in front of me is an old piece of wood, full of signs of wear, dark moisture stains, rain marks, scratches, and even termite attack spots, something that over time tends to happen in many homes and is more common than we imagine in everyday life. Start applying the mixture with a roller, using long strokes and moving along the grain of the wood. A single coat is enough to cover the entire surface and create a uniform layer. As you apply, you'll notice the pigment's color create a beautiful finish and the oil penetrates deep into the wood, forming a protective barrier. The third ingredient, added at the beginning, will work over time to help prevent pests from reappearing. This technique not only helps restore and protect old wood, but also strengthens the structure, increasing its durability. You can use it on decks, wooden roofs, crates, truck bodies, and any other piece that needs extra pest protection and a more durable finish. And the best part is that you're reusing something that would normally be thrown away, turning it into a smart solution to preserve wood and save money. Have you ever thought about mixing liquid silicone glue with ethanol? It seems strange at first glance, doesn't it? But today, I'll show you that this combination can produce something completely different from what each product is normally used for. The first step is to take a clean container, preferably made of glass or sturdy plastic, and add 100 milliliters of liquid silicone glue. Next, accurately measure 50 milliliters of ethanol and add it to the same container that already contains the silicone adhesive. Mix gently, using a wooden stick, a spatula, or any other object you have on hand, using circular motions to thoroughly incorporate the two components. Continue stirring until the solution is smooth. Ethanol makes the silicone glue thinner, easier to spread, and convenient for even coverage. Once you have this solution, divide the mixture into two equal parts. Here I have two small pots of metallic pigment, one in silver and one in bronze. I'll add about two grams of each pigment to the respective mixtures, ensuring the color is intense and evenly distributed. This step is crucial, so do it carefully. Mix for three to five minutes, stirring continuously until the pigment is completely dissolved. Avoid leaving lumps or dry powder at the bottom. The more homogeneous the mixture, the more beautiful and uniform the final finish will be.
Now that everything is ready, it's time to reveal what this preparation is for. Here in front of me is a piece of iron with clear signs of rust, something that happens a lot in everyday life. We're going to apply the solution we just prepared to it. Using a brush or roller, apply the first coat, covering the entire surface evenly and without excess. Wait about 15 minutes for it to dry to the touch, then apply the second coat. For this piece, I'll apply three coats in total, always allowing the drying time between coats to ensure complete, even coverage. After applying all coats, let the piece dry in a well-ventilated area for at least six hours. Alternatively, you can leave it exposed to sunlight to speed up the curing process. And to demonstrate the versatility of this homemade metallic paint, I'll do a second test on a completely different surface, glass. Here in front of me is a clean, dry glass jar. I'll apply the same technique I used on the metal, but this time I'll apply just two thin coats, spreading them evenly to avoid streaks. Between each application, allow approximately 15 minutes for drying, ensuring the first coat is firm before applying the second. Once the coats are finished, it's best to let the glass rest for at least six hours in a well-ventilated area. This ensures the paint dries completely and adheres well to the smooth surface of the glass, creating a beautiful and durable metallic finish. And finally, I'm going to use the rest of the metallic paint on a rusty iron pipe without removing the rust. I repeat the previous techniques. I apply an even coat, allow it to dry, and then add the remaining layers until the entire surface is covered. The final result will be revealed in moments, and I'm sure you'll be amazed by the transformation. If you're not yet a subscriber, now's the time. Subscribe now and stay up to date with all the latest news and exclusive tips. This way you won't miss any new videos and will also strengthen the channel to bring you even more quality content. Click the subscribe button and join this community. Now it's time to reveal the result on the rusted iron pipe. Take a close look at the surface before painting with its rust and rough appearance. When you apply the paint, the transformation is immediate. It forms an even layer with an intense metallic shine and excellent adhesion, even without prior preparation. The finish is durable, doesn't peel easily, and leaves the piece visually renewed and protected against further rust. And here's the result of homemade metallic paint applied directly to the glass surface without the need for primer or special preparation. See how uniform the finish is, with an intense metallic shine and a professional appearance. The paint adheres very well, doesn't stain or peel, and maintains its vibrant color even on a smooth surface like glass. See how incredible it is when we mix silicone glue with ethanol. The result is a homemade paint with a glossy, durable finish, perfect for those who like to innovate. In the video, you saw how a mixture of silicone glue and ethanol turns into a homemade paint with incredible shine and excellent resistance. I showed this paint applied to metal and glass without the need for primer or preparation, and it still created a firm, long-lasting coat. If you liked this result, share this idea with friends and family as much as you can. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.